Hey guys, in this video I go over uh, what came inside of this large box that came with the growler. It had a lot of miscellaneous items, so I go through each one and, and maybe you can help me figure out some of these mysteries. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go over all the stuff that came with the growler. Uh, it came with a big wooden box that had miscellaneous supplies in it, so uh, we'll go through one by one. All right. This This is an ITV service drive breakout cable. No idea what that means. All right. Here is a new panel for the um, rear wheel, rear wheel steering. As far as I know, that's disabled. So I guess it's nice to have a new panel, but it doesn't do me a lot of good. And then there is this little guy. Moving on. Got something. Wrapped in plastic and foam. So I assume other growlers come with miscellaneous supplies too, so maybe you know we can get some of the people that bought them together and we can trade parts or whatnot. Alright. This I'm not sure what this is at all. I'll have to go check the growler out. And uh, and see where it matches up. Maybe some type of um, air filter goes there. Not sure. This thing, oh, it's heavy. I have no clue what it is. I thought maybe it could be a winch or something, but I don't see how that could be. So I really have no idea. I want to say that it came with something that said I thought it had something to maybe do with the, the rear wheel steering. But I'm not sure. If any of you know, feel free to let me know because I would be happy to know what this is for. to be something important. Um, this is a some type of plate. Oops, sorry I missed it there. Again, I'm not sure where this goes, but um, if any of you know what it might be or where it goes, I'd appreciate it. <clears throat> Pull this over. 
this says airbox. It's got a, a number on it. And this looks like it goes right on the air intake. Trying to find out how to get replacement parts, and even things just like uh, for basic maintenance, you know, air filters, oil filters. I think I have an air filter in here. And this might be an oil filter. A filter Zynga Industries uh, it looks like you could maybe buy it from their website zynga.com it's got a phone number on there I'll see if I get that in focus out of Wisconsin um, I mean it, it looks it's got instructions as if though it were an oil filter um, it also has this connected to it. I don't want to take it off. So I'll just show you what it is. That might be a good find. Let's see what this is. Alright. A couple of no step brackets. It's kind of cool. Maybe I can use them somewhere. And then something from Loft Miller out of Indiana, it looks like. Uh, it's like just some rivets. This says airbox on it, uh, so maybe it goes to that. Got a lot of different items in here. It's like a, some type of rubber gasket or. hose clamps or three hose clamps some more hose clamps more uh, rubber gaskets of different shapes some type of connector and then just some bolts and washers and some nuts get all that back in there an air filter I would assume here's the part number AC Delco I want to say that mine has one of those um, K&N filters so this probably goes with this other let me see if I got that. this guy let's see if it fits if it fits it sits looks like it uh that's the air filter if you have that style on your growler. All right. 
Mystery solved. Let's see, this is, it's got some kind of part number. Let's see if we can get that guy in focus. Some type of pipe. I'm not gonna unwrap the whole thing because it just looks like that. So if I figure out um, where on the growler that goes, I'll let you know. Alright. sealed so I'm not gonna open it but it looks like just some connectors and maybe some type of cap and, yeah. all right and this looks like it is a ITV lighting trailer electrical assembly. So this must be for if you have the, the growler that tolls the trailer. There's a P1 cable and a J1 cable and then another cable here. Just got some part numbers. It looks like it's just some metal pieces. This may go on the back where they have those open areas on the growler where it looked like there was some type of handle or something. I'm not sure what these are exactly. Is, oh, front and rear sway bars. Another piece of metal piping. This is some braided metal. Flexible and got no idea what that's for. Uh, looks like oil seals, half sheet seals. Let's open one up and see what's in there. what that's for let me know I've never seen that before here's the back it's got a little information on it this says front and rear drive shaft hardware by Spicer Drivetrain Products. Looks like a bunch of just washers and nuts. This is a transmission and transfer case vent. harness it looks like for the the central tire inflation system these look like headlight 
adapter cable times two. That's everything that was in this box. Fine, I'm glad I found that. Keep that safe. for me which is a different style of air box actually it looks like that one probably connects right into here um, and these flip down close I assume it has something to do with the suspension, but I have no idea. So there's this one, which is one of the bigger ones. <coughs> Two of these, which has one end like that. And one end like this. And then it came with a little extra carrier thing there. And that's all it came with. Uh, if anyone else got anything else with theirs and like to let me know, uh, just tell me in the comments below, I guess. If you have any questions about any of these things or you want me to get a up close view or send you some pictures, um, just uh, put a comment in the, the comment area below and I'll try and get back to you. All right, thanks a lot.